Hello, 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 dreamers, and welcome back to Dream Queen by Perla. As always, guys, thank you for your love and support. Thank you for liking, sharing, and subscribing to the channel. And if you haven't done so, I encourage you to do so. It helps with growing the channel, getting the video out there for more people, as well as keeping me accountable. For personal readings, all that information can be found down below in the description. So this is something new that I'm trying. I'm going to be doing um, cusp reading when they are in their season, right, for their birthday. So this is going to be Capricorn Aquarius Cusp. Um, and happy birthday to all of you guys. This is going to be a bonus extended reading to see um, if there's anything else that you guys need to be made aware of. I am also going to be running um, a sale during your week. So from today, the 16th to the 22nd, um, I'm only going to be taking three people um, every time I run the sale for the cusp reading birthdays um, because I'm going to be doing them at 50% off. So instead of the regular price, they will be 50% off and they will be available to the first three people that reach out through the website. And the information for the website is down below in the description. It is dreamzzzqueen at um, dot com dot com there you go um and if you are inquiring about a personal reading during your season just go ahead and send me a message through the website and let me know that you're inquiring about the sale and i'll let you know if there's still room available or not so capricorn aquarius cusp again this is your bonus reading um there is this energy that i was picking up with you guys of kind of <laughs> It's almost kind of like this coming out energy, to be honest with you. When I was listening, um, shuffling through my music, the, the song that was playing, um, well, the songs that were playing, but one of them that really caught my attention was um, The Phoenix by The Fall Out Boy. And prior to that, I was listening to Mockingbird by Eminem and then White Boy by Tom, by Tom McDonald's. And, and those three songs really um, speak in this energy of somebody just trying, somebody that's really trying to just be themselves, right? Um, trying to not, to not live up to other people's standards, but instead um, learning to honor themselves as, as they truly are. And this is a beautiful energy for you to be in um, during your birth, you know, during your birthday, your birth week um, for you guys, because it, it's almost kind of like, <clears throat> It's, it's not so much about telling the world that you are done and over with um, with certain situations or telling anybody off or telling anybody anything. It, it is more about you getting back into the power of yourself, right? So when, when we talk about, about being in your power, it, it doesn't necessarily mean means that everything is going um, as you planned or anything like that. It is just that regardless of any challenges that may be present for you at this moment in time, you're still going to show up. You're still going to be you. And you're not allowing the circumstances around you to, to define who you are. Instead, you are choosing to be who you want to be in this world. You are choosing to show up the way that you want to show up, um, regardless of how that may be taken um, by other people, how other people may perceive uh, may may perceive that excuse me so there there is definitely a, a a coming out or pulling yourself out of energies or situations in your life that have been in some way shape or form holding you back right when we when we talk about those echoes that we hear in and when I talk about echoes, I'm talking about those dialogues within yourself that either have planted seeds of doubts, right, that um, eventually turn to manifest in a sense of hesitation or procrastination when it comes to the things that you want to perceive, right, with the things that you want to go, um, you want to go after in life and things like that. And it's like you're finally shutting the door when it comes to that and you're just like, no, I, you're, you're trying to take a stand anyway this week where you're like no I if, if I don't like something or I don't like the way something is going I have the power to change that right and and it always comes 
back to that space where it is our thoughts that we have to we have to change first so if you're already in in alignment with that energy of like okay this these are the things that i want to achieve and these are the things that i know that are preventing me from it then i'm going to change that your your thoughts are already in alignment with that process so now the next thing that has to come into play is your actions right and that's usually where it tends to get a little tricky right okay how can i move forward in this direction or how can i go forward in a certain direction um and still t still staying true to yourself right and, and what you have to get to the point where you have to kind of um it's almost like an acceptance type of energy of like accepting all aspects of yourself right um it is very beautiful to uh, to gravitate or to have people gravitate to you because of, of the light and the beauty that you bring into the world, right? But there's also another aspect of yourself, right? And and sometimes that is also needed and that is okay, right? But when when you come from a placement of not judging, um, not, not judging yourself, it, it then it becomes easier not to judge other people. And that's kind of like the, the, the balancing act that you guys are on on this week, okay? Um, I, I know that I am A, B, C, and D, and I know that this is how I function, and and then that is okay, right? This is where I am at, at this moment in time when it comes to my path, to my journey, and, and I'm okay with that, right? But that does not mean that I have to accept for things to continue on like this, right? Um <clears throat> let's put it this way as an example maybe financially you you want to purchase something you want to purchase a home or you want to do something and you know that personally and again guys these are just examples these are general readings so keep that in mind maybe you are overspending or spending money on something that is not helping you get to that goal right are you buying coffee out are you eating lunch out every day are you eating dinner out every day those are all things that maybe there's a tweak that that can be adjusted right and, and that's kind of like the way that you have to to start looking when it comes to to goals right it's not always something that is big and huge that is preventing to you it is those little things that require self-discipline um, that allow you to get to that goal right that allow you to achieve those things those big dreams those big goals that you have for yourself so this week it is very important for you to kind of look at what your goals are and start seeing and and for this is going to require you to be completely honest with yourself right um start seeing where it is that you yourself are jeopardizing your your goals or your dreams by simple actions or simple, or simple things that you are doing uh on a daily basis right so uh, a quick example for that if you're if you're trying to get into shape or you're trying to lose weight or you're trying to gain weight right um because we're all in different aspects of our journey when it comes to health well are are you eating enough if you're trying to gain weight or are you um, forgetting to eat right because those are little things that are going to essentially affect the big goal right of you trying to either gain weight or gain muscle or if you're trying to lose weight and gain muscle are you eating appropriately are you eating the correct foods are you exercising the way that you're supposed to do and, and this is a, a compound compound effect i want to say of when you're you're continuously doing a little bit each day to get to that goal or to that dream that you have for yourself now I know that for not not for everybody is going to be a weight um, a weight or a fitness goal, but those are just examples. So if we're looking at it as uh, as a spiritual goal, right? You you want to be able to hear spirit um, more clearly. Well, what are you doing to help that connection between you and spirit, right? Are are you setting time aside to go into prayer, to go into meditation, to have that moment or those moments in silence so that you can hear clearly, or are you overstimulating yourself with other things that are not helping? Um, that are not helping you down that path and that's kind of like uh, what i what i want you guys to to take a look at when when we're talking about how the energies are picked up right um there there is a sense here of literally somebody just it, it's almost kind of like something 
because it is weird the way that they're showing it because it's almost like something that is overcooked right um you know how like when you make pasta there there is a t there's a sense like you you want to cook it to a perfection but sometimes you allow something to just kind of like overcook and then when you take it out it's boiling right so it's, it's almost kind of like needing to identify um, and be very honest with yourself and as clear as possible with what your goals are and then take that hard look at yourself and see where it is that you are preventing yourself from achieving those goals. And always remember that it all starts in your mind, in your thoughts. If you already told yourself that you're never going to achieve something, then you have already said the that energy and notion right so you kind of have to kind of battle that self dialogue that you have set for yourself so it, it, ooh, so much coming in at once excuse me guys so there there is a sense here to needing to pay a little bit more attention to so the things that you're feeding yourself um, verbally, the things that you're saying to yourself, the things that you're saying about yourself and the limitations that you have been putting up um, for yourself, right? Um, a lot of times we take ourselves out of a box and just put ourselves in another one. And that's kind of what you're being drawn or you're being asked not to do. Like as you're freeing yourself and you're coming out of all of these restrictions that you have been battling for a while, then kind of stay, um, try your best not to put yourself in another restrictive area or in another box now for those of you um, because this is an extended reading we are gonna go a little bit into love there there, there seems to be this kind of um, for those of you that this is going to relate to there, there seems to be like this fluctuating energy when it comes to love like okay I want to work on something I don't want to work on something I'm over somebody I'm not over somebody and regardless of whatever whatever end of it you're at it's like okay can you just make up your mind and go forward with it right if if you're in a relationship whether you reconcile with somebody or whether you're in a relationship and things may have been rocky for a while but you 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 t the two of you let's put it that way have decided that you're going to work on it then you have to consciously work on it it's not just saying that you're going to work on it and forget about it right it's almost kind of like as an example again guys you know how people are are so used to apologizing well I'm sorry okay sorry is nice to hear but if there's no action behind that sorry then it really doesn't mean anything and it's almost kind of like that energy that you're looking at if you're saying that you're going to work something or we're gonna work through something with a significant other then actions and showing up on a daily basis needs to be put into practice if you're saying that you're going to if for those of you that have decided to leave somebody in the past and you're not willing to reconcile and you don't want to revisit that that connection then what are you doing at this moment in time that is preventing you from doing that are you still responding to them are you still engaging in communication with them when you know that you are done with it um because you have to again this is all about being honest with yourself because when you are honest with yourself and when you are able to see all aspects of you then you're able to accept yourself and you're able to realize that doesn't matter how you are or where you are in life at this moment in time who you are or how you're showing up at this moment in time is exactly how you are meant to be right we always want to look for the broken aspects of ourselves to try to fix it right and and at times it's like it's not so much about fixing it a lot of the times it's just becoming aware that something was hurting us or something was was not right and okay I was in that situation, I dealt with that. Now, what can I do to not be in that situation again, right? We're not so much focused here on trying to tell everybody that they're broken, right? Because we are all broken in one aspect or another, right? But that brokenness, that is part of our uniqueness. That is part of who we are. And that is part of who allows, that, that is a part of us that allows us to evolve and allows us to grow and allows us to see that everything does come in seasons. So for, for you, a season is coming to an end. Um, that season of hiding, that season of not being yourself is coming to an end. And it's coming to an end in all areas of your life if you allow it to, right? But in order for that, again, is that, that, 
that that gray area that a lot of people don't like going into it it's like okay this is me this is wholly who i am and i'm going to honor who i am and i'm going to allow myself to be myself and that is the energy that you guys are trying to embrace this week now make sure that when you are doing this um everything that you are allowing yourself to become aware of and that you are acknowledging and that you're trying to honor you are comfortable with do not ever try to force anything right do not ever try to force being okay with a breakup do not try to force being okay with a job losing a job or losing whatever it is because um, as part as this uh, as part of this experience, excuse me, uh, we have to honor those those spaces when we're grieving certain things, and that is fine, right? Um, so, uh, a lot of honesty is coming in, and I feel that that's where a lot of you are really learning to really stand in your power this week um, with allowing yourself with not trying to control how it is that that you feel right so if a certain emotion comes up or, or a certain feelings towards a certain situation you you acknowledge it you see what is it that is surfacing and without any judgment you accept it for what it is and allow the energy to con to continue flowing right it is when we try to be so restricted and we try to hold on to things that are just surfacing or coming up to help us become aware of something um that is when we tend to get ourselves like when we tend to get into our head and we tend to go back so whatever resurfaces for you this week just try your best and however whatever tools you normally use to accept things and to acknowledge things and to allow things to flow because that is what is going to ultimately help you right this is all um, how can I put it this way? This experience that you have lived up to this point, every single thing that has happened, every single thing that you have said, everything that has been said to you, everything that you've done, everything that's been done to you, etc., however you want to word it, has happened for a reason. And if you give yourself enough space, right, to allow the clarity to come through, is going to come through and is ultimately going to allow you to free yourself from whatever restrictions you have put in uh, you have you have put into play right and a lot of the times a lot of the restrictions that we put into play are not things of ourselves right are things that we are taught as children or as teenagers or even as adults like no this is the way that it has to be but why if that doesn't feel natural to me why do i have to do that or why do i have to pretend to be that and that's kind of like the 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 entire essence of your reading a lot of you are definitely going to go into a space where you're going to allow yourself to take a lot more risk when it comes to um your finances when it comes to um business or career you are trying your best to kind of open up yourself to allow yourself to receive more you're trying not to um and not to put the what ifs or what could go wrong in in, in new situations it has definitely been a, a mental battle as it is with basically everyone right but for for a lot of you guys you're almost like at that peak where you're kind of like almost looking back and seeing like oh okay that's why that happened oh okay that's why okay that's what i needed to realize and 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 it's, it's actually really really beautiful because it allows you to then expand in a way that maybe you didn't think was possible for you or maybe in a way that you thought was going to take you years to kind of um get to so there there is a lot of expansion in your energy there are a lot of opportunities coming in that again if, if you're open to them and open to receiving them, they are closer for grasp than, than what you are thinking of. It, it's almost kind of like, how, how can I put it this way? So sometimes you don't see how something is going to play a part in your path or how something is going to work out. But if your instincts, right, if your intuition is telling you like, yeah, this is it, 
don't know how it's gonna work out but you gotta trust that this is where this is what we gotta do sometimes you have to just follow your intuition with pure faith that is leading you to the life that you want it is leading you to those dreams that you have for yourself so the second guessing the the hesitation and the procrastination is definitely coming to an end in a lot of areas of your life there are other areas that you're still a little mm, you're still questioning and and I feel that that, that area is more more about love you're not really a hundred percent sure when it comes to um, opening up yourself into like it's to love or to relationship remember that avoidance is not the same as staying away from something um, for how can I put it this way what, there, there is a difference between not engaging in relationships or certain connection because you know that this is a time to kind of retreat and kind of work on certain things with yourself and then there's an energy of avoiding because of fear of not getting hurt or fear of not going back into certain patterns so you have to kind of be honest with yourself where it is that you are standing when it comes to relationship are you avoiding love in general because you're afraid of getting hurt again um and if so what tools can you use to allow yourself to open up to love again and know that if you are in alignment in alignment with love at this moment in time and you know who you are and you know where you stand with certain things and you know what you are asking for and you know what you are giving as far as like energy then the person that is going to come towards you is going to be in alignment with that but if you're in a space where you are afraid to to love you're afraid to give love then you're going to come into alignment with somebody that is also in that space of being afraid of love or being afraid to love so then the two of you come together you guys are both coming from the same energy and nobody is willing to give but is expecting and then things don't work out so there there is a need here to maybe get a better understanding when it comes to energy and that aspect um personally a lot of the things that i talk about again is all things that um come to me and then I go ahead and I do research and I study on and things like that and it's almost kind of like certain tools or certain things can be given to you but at the end of the day you're the one that has to kind of see where it is that those tools are going to lead you to because there there is a there is an energy of wanting to expand not just emotionally but also spiritually financially um and mentally and uh, um physically but it's almost kind of like it, it's just it may seem like too much information all at once and there is an energy of like okay where do i start we always start with ourselves right um what is it that your inner self what is it that your spirit is asking you for what is it what situations or what things does your spirit feel at home with what what comes naturally what and, and a lot of people you ask them and they're like i don't know like what do what are you passionate about i don't know what do you like to do when you know to I don't well, how can I even say like what do you like to do to get yourself out of like a bum energy when you're kind of feeling like down or whatever I don't know what do you and it's like okay so if you're in that <clears throat> excuse me if you're in that space where oh there my voice cleared up uh, if you're in that space where you don't know what brings you peace or what brings you joy then that is where you start with yourself right and, and you ask yourself okay what brings me happiness what puts me in that energy what what allows me like what drives me to want to learn more about a specific topic or whatever it is what brings peace to me what allows me to feel grounded and for everybody is going to be different right and, and I talk about this all the time it is there are different tools that are used throughout um, different days or different situations right there are days where literally dancing my my ass off is what I need there are days where um, sitting Sitting down and meditating for hours is what I need. There are days when, you know, I need to do a specific workout. I have to be out in nature. I have to do this. And, and when I say I have to, I'm not talking about anybody telling me. This is what the inside of me, my inner self, my spirit is telling me. Like, let's do this because this is the space that we need to be in at this moment. Because some type of clarity or something is going to come out of being in that space. So... 
breaking free from restrictions that were put there either by yourself or by others is the name of the game for this week right and how are you going to play that game how are you going to maneuver through it how are you going to come out on top how are you going to free yourself from this by refocusing all that energy back to yourself and seeing what it is that that calls to you, what it is that feels natural, what it is that is is trying to draw you in. And that's kind of what um, a lot of you have to kind of get into. You need to be comfortable, you need to get comfortable within that energy. When it comes to the things that, let's say, are not so much materialistic, uh, are not so much about attention seeking or anything like that, but about yourself, right? Um, I, the, there, there's one thing where, you know, I've had people tell me like, oh, there's no possible way that you can be happy all the time. No, I'm not happy all the time, but I would say about 99% of the time, I am in that joyful, blissful energy because when I am sad or when I am angry or when I am experiencing any of the other's um, feelings or emotions, I honor them in that moment in time so that they're not dragging or not trying to bleed into the other energies. And that's kind of like, like what, what we have to learn is this this aspect that you know it is very easy for us to say positive and negative right oh well you're a positive person or you're a negative person you know what we all experience positive and negative thoughts from time to time right it is what we consciously choose to do on a day-to-day -day basis is what determines how things turn to unfold for us and that's a lot of the things that a lot of you are going to start experiencing right maybe you you have a a certain notion of the way that you speak to yourself well if you're speaking to yourself constantly and telling yourself that you can't do something that you're not going to accomplish something whether again that is repeating words that others said to you or these are just the words that you say to yourself then a beautiful challenge for you at least for this week is change that dialogue Set, say I am going to accomplish this I am going to do it I am showing up for myself and, and affirm it within yourself because again what you say is what you become and it is what internal, uh, externally ends up manifesting from whatever it is that you're feeling inside of yourself so let's pull out a few tarot just to clarify so when it comes out of um, coming out of this box, out of this restriction, what do we have, Spirit? So we have the Seven of Cups in the reverse. We have the Three of Swords in the upright. And then we have the Empress in the upright. So again, it, it's, it's about needing to stop giving to situations, um, to people or energies that are not are not fulfilling anymore. They're no longer serving you. And when I say that, a lot of people say, well, you know, that sounds a little entitled, right? Or if something doesn't serve you, you just kind of discard it. Um, there, there's a lot more to it. And when you get it, you get it. It's not just a superficial thing, right? There, there can be a behavior that is no longer serving you that is, is not necessarily being detrimental, but it's keeping you comfortable and it's not allowing you to take risk. That is something that cannot be serving you, right? And that is something that eventually ha you have to move past it and allow yourself to find a, a either a behavior or an action or a way of thought a way of thinking or whatever it is that is going to allow you to challenge yourself more right because if you want change then you have to make that change happen all right so when it comes to their um their goals and dreams what it is that they want to accomplish what do we have spirit So we have the Hermit in the reverse with the Queen of Swords in the reverse. It is it's time for you to stop fighting yourself. It is time for you to stop making excuses as to why you cannot go after something now. It is time for you to stop procrastinating and go after your dreams. Now, if you don't have a game plan, then that's where you start, right? You have an idea, okay. What, I, what does that idea encompass, right? What is the end goal of that idea? And then work backwards and break them into smaller um smaller goals so that you can get to that end goal right a, a lot of you are making um are, are are thinking how can i put it this way it's almost an energy of like almost over complicating something 
Um, things take things take time. Let's put it that way to to manifest. But until you don't take the first step in action towards it, you're always going to be suspended in the same place. So we have the Nine of Pentacles, the Two of Pentacles in the reverse with the Seven of Swords. At the first sign of, of a challenge or the first sign that something is not going the way that you want it to, you tend to walk away or you tend to say that it wasn't in alignment with you. You tend to say that it's not for you. And a lot of the times it's not that. Uh, maybe there was something within that energy that you were to learn in order to get to that end goal, right? Maybe there is an easier way and it's, being try it's trying to be shown to you that maybe the way that you have been doing something is not working or is not yielding the results that you wanted because there's an easier way for you that you need to discover doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to find the answer um with or within someone else's um situation now i do want to pull out a couple of love card what do we have for love what do we have for love <clears throat> let's pull out the past energy current and future so for your past energy we have flirt extend your lighthearted energy to each other um for some of you this is something maybe that you've missed uh, maybe something that you weren't doing maybe something that is affecting a current relationship or a possible <coughs> relationship uh -uh, messina um where maybe you just kind of have to let your guard down a little or maybe past relationships past connections didn't allow you to let your guard down so for current energy we have getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other your bond defense again needing needing to allow yourself to be yourself regardless of who it is that you're in a connection with um and and, and not being ashamed or not being embarrassed of any aspect of yourself because to be in a romantic relationship and to build a solid foundation not just you but the other person has to be able to feel that it is safe for them to be themselves it is safe for you to be yourself so um, in the near future, what do we have for love? We have let go of control issues. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. So if this is something new, something that is starting, you're getting to know somebody, allow yourself to be yourself. Do not put a certain date on something. Um, do not try to do not try to control every aspect of how things unfold. Um, because at the end of the day, once you truly get to know somebody to a certain extent, then you will know if it is something that you're able or that you should be able to get into. Alrighty, so anything else? <clears throat> anything else that Capricorn Aquarius Cusp need to know for their extended? We have the Ten of Pentacles in the reverse, the Six of Pentacles in the reverse, and the, the Sun in the reverse. Um, financial issues, there is... Um now, when it comes to financial issues, there there are people that really get in, they really get stuck in the energy of like what I don't have. And when you get stuck in an energy like that, then you're not able to see the different ways or different strategies or different possibilities of a way out when it comes to um, financial issues. So um, definitely when you're dealing, like when you're looking at your bills, when you're looking at your bank account and it's just not matching up, Take a deep breath, a step back, set an intention for clarity because there's always something that we can do. A lot of the times is that we don't see it because we're so used to on what it is that we don't have that we don't see the possibility for anything else coming in. We have the four of swords in the reverse, the empress and the three of cups in the upright position. You are equipped with everything that you need in order to manifest. You are equipped with everything that you need in order to get yourself out of, out of any financial struggle. Now, yes, that sounds easier said than done but again if you allow yourself to to shut out the world and listen to your intuition listen to yourself the answers are made crystal clear all right anything else for it we have the king of pentacles in the reverse the ten of cups in the upright and then the lovers in the reverse um stop telling yourself that you can't have it all 
for those of you that are telling yourself that. Um, it may not be that you, you may not have it all at this moment, right? You may have um, a beautiful self relationship with yourself and maybe you're waiting for love to come in. Maybe you're waiting for your finances to come in to think about love. Maybe you want your finances first before you get love or you want love before your finances. Whatever it is, it's like with that control car, it's like stop controlling everything. Stop trying to control everything and allow certain things to just flow in, right? Um, at times we don't realize that we do have it all until we we take a step back or until we're in another challenging place that then makes us appreciate what we what we had at that moment in time. So if you're if you're in a space where you feel like you can't have it all that you don't have it all, um, take some moment and reflect as to where it was that you were at during your last challenge and where it is that you are now in this challenging time of freeing yourself from those those restrictions that have been said that you're trying to fight off. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to pull out um, three oracle cards as your closing message, guys. <clears throat> the rising sun, soul retrieval, and the temple of the black obsidian. Obsidian. So with the rising sun, we have the divine solar child reborn. So this is definitely a, as you're freeing yourself from these restrictions, you're definitely being reborn. You're definitely allowing yourself to, to be yourself to be yourself without having to question what that looks like, right? Knowing that every single day is going to be different. There are going to be days where you're going to be able to face those challenges straight ahead, right? Without any hesitation. And there is days where you're going to have to hype yourself up in order to be able to face those challenges, right? Because there's challenges every single day and they always look different. So it's about honoring every aspect of yourself and knowing that it is okay to be in different energies as long as you are always yourself we have the the soul retrieval deep soul healing with the goddess so again when we talk about soul retrieval we're talking about pulling in our energies back right from from places or and or, or situations that maybe we're still holding on to right things that still have a hold on us, right? Things that are unfortunately at this point, that nothing can change from those situations, but our perspective of how or what it is that we learned from them. And when you are able to look at a situation from that perspective, you're, you're, you're regaining or standing back in your power as you always should be. Um, and then we have the temple of black obsidian the dark healing chamber so again the, there seems to be a a notion here of a lot of healing that is taking place when it comes to allowing yourself to free yourself so you're no longer um you're no longer trying to hold on to what it is that other people did to you or how other people treated you or how other people did you wrong. But instead, you are allowing yourself to forgive them, even if they didn't ask to be forgiven, right? Because knowing that when you're still holding a grudge to um, towards somebody, that that eats up on you, right? That eats, that eats you up inside and it doesn't allow you to have peace in that area of your life. And then it, it, it gets you into a place where you're always questioning people that come around within similar situations, right? Um, when, when we talk about, when we talk about forgiving people from the past, just because you forgive somebody doesn't necessarily mean that you need to allow them back into your life. And it doesn't mean that you forget the lesson, right? Because when we look at our past and we look when we look at the lessons that we've learned, whether there were situations that we made for ourselves completely or situations that we enabled, right, or that we part we, we took part in, um, it, it is all about the lessons that we learned, right? And 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 taking those lessons and applying them into the now. So that you're not feeling like you're living in a life that you're constantly repeating the same cycles and that's what a lot of you are trying to do so I would say um, with all honestly just allow if you allow yourself to be yourself and you allow yourself to accept yourself as you are you'll have a completely different 
um, perspective as how you're looking at your past situations and how it is that you are still connecting to them or if you're still feeding those energies like you know if something somebody did something to you 10 years ago and you're still angry at them about it it's like okay let's forgive them for that that doesn't mean that I have to allow them back into my life. That doesn't mean that I have to allow them to do the same thing again to me, okay? Well, guys, that is all that I have for you. I hope that you enjoy this. We're definitely going to see, get a feel to see how these readings go, and definitely I will be continuing them. Sending every single one of you love, strength, and blessing, guys. Take care. Love you all. Bye-bye.